What's up guys, the April Patreon rewards are now available. Armageddon, Teferi Time Reveler, and Nekusar the Mind Razor are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves or clicking the link in the description below. What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Uh, in the last one we played with uh, Unpredictable Cyclone. It didn't really go the way that I was at least hoping it would go. Uh, so this time we're kind of jumping back to an old reliable which is Simic Flash. This time with just a few new cards from Aquario that I'm actually really really excited about. So uh, to go through the list here we're calling this one Simic Sharks because we do have uh, four and four up here. We'll talk about that in a second. In the two drop slot we have four quenches. A uh, very standard control uh, kind of card. It just allows us to, to counter some stuff early on. Uh, four Growth Spiral as well to keep us playing our lands on time. Uh, and just, you know, drawing through our deck a little bit. Uh, also at instant speed. Brazen Borrower, a fantastic card. We've seen this all across standard. Bounces a thing and then comes in as a Flash 3-1 uh, with flying. Uh, C Dasher Octopus, a new card from Akoria here that helps us hopefully draw some cards. We can mutate it onto uh, some of our other creatures, so very, very good in my opinion. Uh, for Mystical Dispute, now this is a very uh, large number of Mystical Disputes in my opinion, but uh, this does allow us to do uh, 4, 4, and 4, so we've got the 12 counters here. Uh, Frilled Mystic, obviously a counter on a stick. It's a 3-2 with Flash, counter target spell when you play it. A little bit difficult to cast, but again, that's why we kind of have Growth Spiral here uh, to help us get there. Uh, Night Pack Ambusher, just a really, really good threat. Uh, obviously, we're not really looking to do anything on our turn, so a lot of the time we're going to be able to get that 2-2. Uh, and so this is a nice thing. Flash it out on your, your opponent's end step if they didn't do anything that you want to counter with either of these three cards. And then you get a nice threat out onto the battlefield that they actually have to deal with. Uh, Voracious Great Shark actually works as four more counters for artifacts or creatures. Uh, it's a 5-4 with flash, 4-5, and then it's also a counter. Uh, so very, very strong card in my opinion, and kind of a, just a good finisher for the deck. Uh, Shark Typhoon's a bit of a silly one, but you can cycle it away uh, at any time for two and X. Uh, X becomes a blue shark creature token with flying with X and X. So uh, this is, I think, going to be kind of a silly card, but it's a fun one, I think. Uh, we're running 24 lands here. We've got two Castle Vantress, five and seven split on the forest to island ratio, uh, four Breeding Pool, four Temple, and only two Fable Passage. We're not really looking to get them out tapped if we can help it. So uh, this is just really a way to make sure that we hit, you know, the two green, two blue for Frilled Mystic or something along those lines. So this one I've not played yet, uh, but I love these flash decks. Uh, the Demir flash deck in particular was extraordinarily fun uh, for me. That was much more my style than the Simic flash deck, though I do like Simic flash quite a lot. So I'm excited to see how this goes. It's nice to see some new cards from Akoria hitting the list. Uh, and this is definitely a bit of a silly one with the, the Shark Typhoon in it, but eh, we'll give it a shot. Uh, so, let's see what we've got. Uh, yeah, I think this is definitely a keep. We've got the turn 2 Quench, uh, and then of course Brazen Borrower to follow that up if we would need to. So, feeling okay about this. We'll lead on the Temple of Mystery, uh, and then into, you know, kind of any of these other lands. It doesn't matter too much. We'll put that on the bottom. We've got plenty of lands for this deck. We've got all five, really, that we need. So uh, certainly looking to to trim down a little bit. So let's pass here. Oops. I'm actually going to quench that. I'm kind of just in for quenching anything. Uh, that might be a bit aggressive, so maybe that was incorrect. They've still got another. That's fine. So we would have either countered that one or countered this one, uh, to be honest. So, sure. Looks like a Bant deck. Uh, mm, hmm. Let's do this. Um, we're most likely going to Brazen Borrow some permanent here. Uh, and if they don't play anything, then I don't really just want to run out the Borrower into it. I love decks that you don't have to play on your turn, uh, and literally this deck you do not have to play on your turn. Go ahead and do this here. It's all about tempo with this deck, so we're literally just trying to tempo them out. 
Uh, actually, let's play the temple here. Um, now seems like a good time to do that. We'll keep the borrower. Uh, the borrower is quite good. Does allow us to bounce, you know, if they replay this, for instance, we bounce it and then uh, counter it with the Great Shark, or just here, we get to clinch. Which is exactly what we were hoping to do. So, let's do this and pass. We do have the Great Shark to counter, you know, whatever creature that comes down. Not that creature. Um... Don't particularly care to counter this. I guess we'll just go ahead and fetch here too. Thin out our deck a little bit. Sure. We'll flash out this borrower now. And pass. Man, we are drawing every land under the sun. Uh. Is it going to matter here? No. So we will do this. And we'll swing in for three. Start the damage train a little bit. Um, they don't have enough to bring back Uro. So interested to see what they do this turn. They have been uh, missing land drops pretty significantly here too. Looks like they're just going to scry. Um, not a great place to be for them, unfortunately. Now, at this point, we are kind of faced with a decision, which is, do we just, you know, kind of get the damage train going uh, as much as possible here, or do we uh, hold off on the Brazen Borrower so we can kind of, you know, I'm not going to throw this out for no reason, but there's certainly a possibility to throw this out. I think I will here. Um, we want to we wanna double our clock as much as possible. Castle Vantress is going to help. Let's do this. And we'll pass. That's fine. A little sad we, we overcommitted a little bit there, but worse things have happened. We'll go ahead and scry now. I don't think we want the quench, but we can definitely keep the shark. They are still stuck on land, it looks like. Hopefully they get one this turn. Uh, at, at some point you do start to... There you go. I mean, it's a tap land, but it's a land. <laughs> um, one on top. Okay. Sure. I'm going to flash this out here. Just, again, we want to keep this damage train going. Um... And we'll pass. We have so many land, it's kind of ridiculous. Here, we get to counter this. And now we have lethal on board and they are tapped out. So it looks like we are going to win this one. Feel good about that. Um, unfortunately, they, they were very unlucky with their land drops. There we go. Got it. So, one game in the bag. Feeling much better with this list than we did the... Uh, unpredictable cyclone list uh we didn't really get to see shark typhoon but we did get to see the power of the voracious great shark hey we leveled up let's open a couple packs really quick throne of eldraine see what we get uh not amazing um and Akoria. really loving this new set guys it's a fun one it is a very fun one. Oh, nice uh Loving a lot of the new cards as well. There's just so many cool things you can do in this set, in my opinion. Um, we've tried a lot of different decks already, uh, and it's it's not even been a week yet. Um, and we're seeing that a lot of these different decks, I mean, they work. We're seeing a lot of different things work. Certainly not all of them, and that's okay. Um, but it's really, really fun to kind of see how things, we'll say, play out. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep this. Uh, we'll leave up Mystical Dispute. Kind of hoping we're against a blue deck. <laughs> These flash decks, I do think both Simic and Demir are quite powerful. Um, 
I think the Demir has a lot, it's a much faster deck, uh, in my opinion, and that, you know, you, you get a little bit of damage, incidental damage with a few different cards there that you don't necessarily get with this one, but, uh, certainly both are quite good, so. I hate this deck, not gonna lie. This deck is very annoying. <laughs> we'll grow Spiral here. I'm thinking we just counter this. We take two here. That's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, we we have the night pack ambusher to kind of block stuff here, um, so we'll we'll certainly see what they do. They may have a removal spell. Yep, heartless act is definitely the one that they usually run. I like Heartless Act quite a lot. It's a good one. Bankrupt in blood. Okay. Sure. Uh, we'll pass. Again, literally all of our cards, other than Shark Typhoon, uh, if we're actually playing it out, but literally all of our cards can be played on the opponent's turn, which is really, really cool. Uh, one of my favorite things about this deck. Yeah. I'm just gonna play this out here. And we'll grow spiral. Hmm. I think I will attack here. <laughs> the priest is really the trouble card <clears throat> in this deck uh, because it does just so much. Very cool. This is a very interesting list. We we should probably test this one out at some point soon. Um, it's just so sweet. Yeah, they're not going to attack there. That makes sense. Let's do this. Let's say one, two, one, two, three, four. Might pack ambusher, not bad. Um, so they're gonna sacrifice this here. Yep. Here we go. It's a tough matchup, guys. This deck is very, very efficient. Ooh. Yeah, let's do that. Don't love it because they can obviously make us sacrifice it, but they do have to kill their two creatures to do so. Um, they can just play Woe Striders out here at some point too, which is not good. Mm hmm. Yeah. This is such a cool recursive list. And they got it. Yep. Well done on the opponents end. This deck is very, very powerful. It's a tough one to deal with uh, because they don't really care if their stuff dies. They kind of want it to. So 
Unfortunately, didn't get the win there, but we will move to game three and see how we do. Uh, feeling much better about this Simic deck, though, than I was the, uh, the Cyclone deck still. So very, very happy. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying these gameplay videos, by the way. We are really trying to pump them out for you just so we kind of cover our bases, get a lot of different content or different decks out there for you guys to see. Um, it's very fun for us because we actually get to, well, play some magic. Um, <laughs> we don't always get to, so uh, it is a treat to be very, very sure. Um, I'm actually going to bottom that. We've got 24 lands. Not too worried about that. Um, looks like mono red. Sure. Um. Oh, sorry. No, I'm not going to counter that. I think I will counter this one. Just kind of mitigating some damage here. Uh, I, I was kind of thinking they might have a better value card at 2, so I was kind of waiting to see if they would play something. Obviously they didn't, and that's okay. Ooh, that should have been untapped, actually. Well, we'll, we'll make do as best we can. I think we just have to clinch that. That's too good. Anax is way, way too good in this deck. Um, if they get that down, it's certainly a, a struggle for us to get there. This is dealing a lot, no doubt about that. These Calamity decks have a very, very large output for damage. Now this turn, what we can do is bounce the Calamity uh, and then Brazen Borrower. <coughs> Excuse me. Or we could just cycle the Typhoon. Um, that's always a, a possibility. Let's bounce this. We're in the mode of slowing them down as much as possible. I think what I'm going to do is just cycle this for one. No, it's not that amazing, but it's better than trading off our borrowers for the sh the these little 1-1s. One I'd rather, you know, trade off just a little 1-1 one -one shark. Um, and actually here, I'm liking this. Now, obviously, they could have a burn spell uh, that could deal with this 1-1, one -one, and that's totally fine. I'd rather that eat the burn spell than one of these guys. So uh, not only that, but this does help us dig through our deck just a little bit. <clears throat> to hopefully get to something better. And now we're a long term mitigating a little bit more damage. Now that is a problem. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Hmm. Don't like that. Um, we can just flash into borrowers if we really want and just double block the the tour brand that feels terrible not gonna lie but it is an option um, that we can consider here man that is a lot of damage Ooh, not not good not good not good yeah, I think we just lose here. Uh, we could flash this in, but they're going to be dealing a lot of damage now. Yep, yep, yep. There it is. All right. Unfortunately, didn't get there on that one. I think we put up a decent fight, and I don't necessarily think we misplayed so much. Um, we would have lost, I think, no matter what, but uh, that was definitely a bit of a rough match. Hopefully, you guys, though, enjoyed this deck. I think this is a fun one. 
don't know if it's on the same level as the OG kind of Simic Flash, but it's very similar, so I don't think it can be that much worse. I think we're just seeing different cards played in it, uh, some of which are good in some matchups, some of which may not be. So uh, I like this deck, though. We're going to give it, obviously, a second video, so we'll see that very, very soon. Hopefully, if you enjoyed it, you'll leave a like or a comment, maybe even subscribe if you're interested uh, in seeing more gameplay videos. So, guys, thank you very, very much uh, for sitting and watching with me. Really do appreciate it. I will see you, hopefully, very soon in the next gameplay video.